Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am using a, I believe it's the second one up from the smallest one of the Happy Dotting Company uh, molds. And I've created my own stone. So check the description of this video for uh, a link to the Etsy shop for Happy Dotting Company if you wanna make some of your own stones as well. Everything you need to know will be in the description, I promise. So I have painted it black. I have found my center dot because luckily with these molds, it leaves a little center dot so you know exactly where your center is. I've let my black paint dry. Make sure you cover it twice. Do two coats of black paint just to make sure it's covered. Now I've done a gold center dot. You don't have to use gold. You can use white. You can use silver. You can use whatever you want, but make sure it stands out from the rest of everything. So that's why I use a metallic. That's just what I do. <laughs> I hope everyone is well. I'm putting eight dots around this bigger dot that I've made. Um, so one at the top, one at the bottom, one at the left, one at the right, and then one in between all of those. So that gives us eight dots. And that makes sure that everything is evenly spread out. That's just the way I do things. I'm, I, I, I guess maybe it's because I'm impatient, but I don't like to use tools <laughs> to like lay it all out. Um, but I do have some stuff that I want to try some cool stuff. Anyway, pick eight colors today. I'm going to pick the rainbow colors. Uh, I'm also going to show you another one at the end of the video with another eight colors, just to show you what it looks like in different colors. Um, so I'm going to do what I always do when I do a rainbow I start off with red, then I go orange, yellow, green, teal, blue, purple, and today, because I need an eight, I'm adding some magenta. So I'm, I've am i put them all in my little paint tray so they're all ready to go, and I'm going all the way around my circle on top of these gold dots. Make sure your gold is dry. And I've done all eight colors so that I know where I'm starting. That's what we're starting with. You don't have to choose rainbows, don't forget this. Just use eight colors and put them in order in your paint tray and go to the left, to the left. I could start singing the Beyonce song. Is it Beyonce? To the left, to the left. Every dot must go to the dot on the left. <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> I'm here all week, everybody. It's been a while. I have missed you all. Uh, so make sure you go just over to the left from where you started. So I started with red. Just keep track of the colors and follow the colors along so that it ends up looking like a little rainbow swirl, a swirl of dots. Um, so I'm literally going around my paint tray, exact same direction, exact same um, colors as I see on my rock so I don't get all messed up and I've picked eight colors so I'm gonna do eight dots so each each one the purple ones have to have eight dots magenta has to have eight dots red has to have eight dots and then keep making them bigger and bigger as you go around the stone so they gradually just keep getting bigger and bigger and I'm actually being lazy and I'm not grabbing bigger dotting tools. So I'm having to like create my own circular dots and they're very messy. But this is still going to look very beautiful. So if you are leery about dotting, please try this. This is actually super easy and really beautiful once it's done. So now that I have eight of all of them, I'm going to go back to my red again. And I did red. I walked the dots around the bigger dot. Then I walked gold dots around the bigger dot. Then now I'm doing another set of three rows, I guess I guess you could call them, and make them gradually bigger as well. So it kind of looks like, um, like a flower petal made of dots. And it looks really, really pretty. So I'm going to do the same thing with the orange. Walk it around with orange, then walk it around with gold, then walk it around with orange again three times and gradually make those a little bit bigger. Sometimes all you need is just a little bit more paint. 
<laughs> depending on the consistency of your paint. Now, if you find that your paint is really sticky and globby and it's not making circles very well, try adding just a little bit of water. Just a little bit of water really helps the consistency of acrylic paint and quickly. It shouldn't do anything to your paint at all, uh, considering it's water-based. So uh, just add a little bit, not too much. You don't want it to be like watercolor. <laughs> you still want that bold, bright look. Um, but yeah, just add a little bit. So I've gone all the way around. I'm finishing up with my purple. And then I'm going to get out my fine lining brush, and we're going to add a little bit more gold. So as you can see, that rainbow it is gorgeous. It looks so pretty. I love anything with color, anything at all. I don't know about you guys, but anything that's rainbow colored catches my eye. Crystals, when they sparkle and they have like a rainbow color to them, it's like, ah, I'm in love. <laughs> so I'm doing wishbones. You guys, if you've been on my channel for a while, you know, I do wishbones all the time. <laughs> little skinny little wishbones and you can thin them out afterwards if they're too thick if you made them a weird shape just kind of thin them out when they dry uh, using black paint of course now I'm going to do two swoops I'm, I'm not measuring out so some of them are not sitting in the same place as the other ones and I really don't mind I'm not about perfection I'm just about making pretty stuff <laughs> Um, guys, if you are not getting notifications for my videos, click unsubscribe and then click subscribe again and then go to your notifications bell and click all so that you get all the notifications of my videos coming in or any news that I might have, you will be notified immediately. So just in case, because sometimes uh, YouTube is misbehaving. And it likes to mess with the controls in the back room. <laughs> and sometimes we have to fix it ourselves. So if you're not getting notifications, just uh, hit unsubscribe. Then click subscribe again. Don't forget to hit subscribe again. I don't want to see you go. <laughs> and then click your notification bell and click all. Um, and if you have liked anything about this video at all, hit the like button for me. That would be really, really awesome. Or share. You can share. Share with anyone who likes rainbows <laughs> and dots. I love dots. So now I've done some pinstriping in the swoops that I did earlier. Just simple, simple. Now I also added some bigger dots at the ends of my wishbones so that they're not pointy and sharp. And now I'm going to add a little bit of dragonfly glaze. It's 44380 and it's got like a rainbow effect to it when you turn it and spin it. I didn't use very much. I'm not going to use very much so it's not really that noticeable but it does give it a nice look once it's been sealed with resin. Um, and I did tell you guys that there is a different one that I'm going to show you at the end of the video. And it's just using shades of blue. So I, I have a little bit of teal, a little bit of blue. Um, and it looks really, really nice. And I used a little bit of hologram 2796 on that one. So you'll see that at the end. I'm going to show you in the resin reveal as well. Because you guys know that's my favorite part. <laughs> I hope everyone has been doing very well. Um, guess what? Ontario's like coming out of some kind of lockdown um no school for my children until september still though so uh yeah schools did not reopen and you know we're still wearing masks and people are still being vaccinated and stuff so um but things are looking a little more positive so yay somebody's been praying <laughs> Um, now that my gold dots are dry, I'm adding a color dot, same color, staying in the same line of things. So if it's orange, I'm adding an orange. If it's green, I'm adding a green. You guys know what I mean. And then I'm going to let these dry and then I'm going to resin them. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> I have not been around because I have been so busy. I'm like painting the inside of my house. Um, I'm adding a gold dot to every dot in our swirl of rainbows 
just the swirls, not not the little dots around the little petals uh, inside the wishbones. Just the just the swirl of dots, and make sure you don't put too much gold. You just want a little dot in the center of each dot, and you don't have to do that. But I like to incorporate gold all throughout it because it just looks pretty in my mind. <laughs> so you do you, and I do me. How about that? <laughs> this looks really pretty. Um, I will be back again tomorrow with another tutorial. It's another dotted one, um, but I like dots. So the next one after that will not be dots. Look at those blues. I just used different shades of blue and it looks really, really pretty. And it was not sunny when I took this video, so I'm saying sorry for that. Uh, it doesn't really show off the glitter the way I'd like to. Um, but I really wanted to take them outside and put them in a tree. <laughs> it's a Amanda Lilac tree. That's what it is. Um, and it's full of my dotted mandalas now. How pretty is that? Sorry about the bad focusing. I am not a filmographer. Is that, is that a thing? Have we now created another word on Rachel's Rocks? <laughs> I love you guys. I hope you will come back again very, very soon. Uh, I have some ideas written down from all of you. Please keep leaving your ideas in the comments. Uh, don't forget to use my discount code uh, on Etsy at um, Happy Dotting Company. Your uh, discount is Rachel's Rocks Canada all capital letters. So please visit there if you want to make your own stones and take a look in the description of this video as well um, for everything you need to know, all the paint colors, everything, how I made my stone. I love you. I will see you soon. Bye.